Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. I'm Marshall. And today we're going to talk about a book that I was sent to review called What We Forgot to Bury by Marin Montgomery. It is a mystery thriller type book. It, it follows the story of um, Charlotte who it has some PTSD from something that happened in her life that regards a basement some injuries to herself. I can't really get into exactly what happened because part of the book is discovering what actually happened to make her uh, as traumatized as she is. Then Elle, it's short for Elizabeth, and Elle shows up at the Charlotte's doorstep seemingly by chance, but not really. She sought Charlotte out uh, for a purpose to exonerate her father who is currently in jail for something that had to do with Charlotte. Again, I'm not going to tell you what that is because that is also part of the journey of discovering what and how it happened. So you spend a lot of this book trying to understand if Elizabeth's or Elle's uh, motives are nefarious at all, if her dad is telling the truth that he really is innocent for this crime that he's in jail for, for like 10 years and then Charlotte also you know what is it that's causing her to basically go off the rails with this trauma. I would have to say that this book was really interesting like I, ju I just I kept reading and reading and reading like normally with mystery thrillers I just want to know how it turns out. Um, this author did a really good job of interweaving the different storylines and motives. I could never really get a handle on whether I felt someone was innocent or guilty of anything. I was questioning every single character in this book and I think that's exactly what you were supposed to do because I don't think anyone in this book has pure motives. Like, no one. No mm -hmm. one. And I think that that was what is what was really cool about it was how did it end up in in the grand scheme of things? How did each flawed person, each person who had made mistakes in their life, how did they end up getting through all of this mm. in, in the end? In the end, and who and who really was responsible for the things that happened? I know that doesn't sound like a really I think this, solid summary. <laughs> that, that's that's one of the things that I, I kind of noticed with some of the best thrillers that you see nowadays is that if you can give a good summary, it it's a little bit more basic, and all the ones that are a little bit more complex, you can't summarize these things without giving anything away. Hmm. I will say I was a little confused about the name of the book. It's called What We Forgot to Bury, and I don't really understand how that comes into play in the book, but more than likely that's just my confused brain not adding two and two together and being like, oh yeah, that's why they called it that. I don't know. <laughs> but don't go into it thinking that burying something is really what this book has to do anything about unless it's burying the truth. Sinister motives, I, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I gave this book three stars. It was a solid book. I just felt like there were maybe certain parts of it that I was like, okay, what happened? <laughs> what, what was this? I it maybe didn't like tie up as well as I would like. I might have liked a little bit more of an explanation, but other than that I thought it was a solid mystery thriller read and I really really enjoyed it. So I give it a three. So thank you so much for watching this little review and until next time. Stay vanny. Bye bye.